And he having to do the limbo there to get out yeah, of the show. Yeah, lots of energy there. Life is a highway playing. And maybe a little different energy level in Richmond where our coverage continues with Art Khan. Art, uh, you can tell it's pretty quiet where you are. Yeah, it is. As a matter of fact, um, Ken Cuccinelli just wrapped up his concession speech a short time ago, and I got to tell you, it was one of the most emotional concession speeches I've ever heard in my entire career. Uh, you know, Ken Cuccinelli told the audience that you could tell by his voice that he was obviously disappointed, and you could. At times, his voice cracked. It seemed like he was actually holding back tears. You know, we told you even before the polls closed that this was going to be an interesting race tonight and it turned out to be just that. I mean, we didn't even know who the governor was going to be until almost three hours after the polls closed. In the end, Terry McAuliffe defeated Ken Cuccinelli by a margin of less than 2 percent, far less than the 7 percent that the polls had predicted. Now, it was just around 1030 or a little bit before that that Ken Cuccinelli offered his Democratic rival a very gracious concession speech. Serving as Governor of Virginia is a special honor, and I hope Terry McAuliffe is successful in the role. Virginia needs that to happen. I'm honored by the support we had from many people across the Commonwealth. And though we didn't come out on top, you have made a difference, and tonight you have sent a message. Yeah, that message, according to Ken Cuccinelli, is that Virginians are not happy with Obamacare. And with the close uh, margin that this race was decided by, the numbers would seem to bear that out. Now, what's next for Ken Cuccinelli? Well, he told everyone here he's looking forward to going home now and spending some time with his family. But ultimately, he said that this battle still is not over. Reporting live from Richmond, Art Con, 10 on your side.